morning. <laughs> I was a very windy. Very cold. <laughs> but I did manage to get some sleep. It's good. This morning we are completing the Tongariro Crossing. This is one of the most popular day hikes in the world, let alone New Zealand. So it's supposed to be pretty spectacular. I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there, and we might, we might be lost, but not forever. Hiking up a volcano. Like sulfur, but it's really cool out here. Trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights, and wandering before you make it safely to the end. Through it all, it all, we get a little wiser. There's things in life you simply need to know. But sun and rain and trust in letting go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering. Before you make it safely to the end, the end, the end And if you ever wonder There is nothing wrong with a little thunder There's things in life you simply need to know About sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights of wandering before you make it safely to the end, the end There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end mm -hmm. Before you make it safely to the end Yeah, right? Cool. That was fun. Mm -hmm. A nice man picked us up and gave us a ride into Tarangi, where we were going to spend a night and try and wait out some really bad weather that was coming in. Yeah. Coke and a pie, better together. Wow. <laughs> not the... Oyster pies? Yeah. Wow. Cowpo we made it to our homestay in Tarani. We finally get to shower. Excited. the Tongariro crossing yesterday. Uh, we're at a little guest house, which is great. And we're hanging out for the whole day. It's gonna rain. <laughs> so it's a good day to take a day off. And then we might actually go to Rotorua tomorrow. I haven't decided uh, tomorrow or maybe the next day. I don't know, do a little side quest again. Cause I think the North Island is 
just gonna be side quests. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens after that. Um, but today is just uh, chilling, just chilling. Hello. We're trying to drink my coffee. I think maybe you are. This is Ginge, the ginger cat. She's really cute. No. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna try and get a hitch to Rotorua today. And then go find some hot springs, hang out. Uh, there's some hikes around there, something in redwoods or cedars or something. Some nice trees. Then we'll see what happens from there. <laughs> Either I come back here and I start back on the trail. Hey, silly cat, get out of my coffee. Excuse me, sir. That is not for you. Yes. <laughs> silly cat. Caffeinated cats. Um. Anyway, yeah, Rotorua and then... Yeah, either get back here and just hike from here, but like, eh, it's like just kind of forest and road and forest and road and whatever. Or I'll just pop up North of Auckland and then like finish the trail up from there. We shall see. Um, yeah, I haven't really completely figured out what I'm doing. I have like rough ideas. Um, but I don't know. I'm like, I've been away for like three months now, which is normal. I'm away all the time. But uh, my grandma, she's like 98, and we just had to move her to a dementia ward. And uh, I am feeling like I need to go see her in the like somewhat immediate future. Um, which is like one of the hard parts about traveling, especially being like so, so far away. Like New Zealand is really far. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm working on just like finishing the majority of the North Island and then hopefully getting myself a flight to go back to Alberta, visit my grandma and my dad because I haven't been home there, home to my hometown in about a year and a half now. So it's been a, it's been a long time. So anyway that's just like one of those things about being kind of on the road and like traveling and adventuring is like it's not always so easy to see my family which uh is sometimes difficult especially when like you know things happen that are a bit unexpected or like a bit hard or whatever anyway so i'm gonna that's kind of like the plan i think for the next couple of weeks is just like do the kind of final maybe 500 kilometers of this trail and then find my way to Alberta to go visit my little grandma, see how she's doing. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. But. I often find that when I'm feeling really wishy-washy or uncertain about something, it's because I actually know the answer and I'm just not quite ready to commit to it. And that's where I was with the idea of finishing or not finishing this trail. In my heart, I think I knew that I was done hiking this trail and I didn't actually want to go any further, but I wasn't quite ready to give up on the whole through hiking part of it. Partly because I run this vlogging channel and because I've been bringing you all along and partly because I don't like to leave things unfinished. But the more I thought about it and sat with it, the more I felt that the right thing for me to do was to leave New Zealand and go back to Canada. All right, we're on the road. Find us somewhere to go. Hi. Is this the road? Yeah, Great. After some chats with my family and a little bit more thinking, I decided to book a flight for a few days later. So since we had a few days to burn, we hitchhiked out to Rotorua to see what that was like. There's supposed to be some volcanic activity out there with hot springs and sulfuric smells. So we decided to go check it out. Also, so far, New Zealand has the best McDonald's. If you've been watching the vlogs, you know I've tried a lot of them. We checked into our hostel and spent a little bit of time exploring Rotorua. Ooh. What? How fun! In the park. It's great. Yeah? <laughs> we wandered over to the public city park that had hot springs and little pools that you could soak your feet in. So we spent, I don't know, an hour or so sitting there reading books and soaking our feet. 
my tea. <laughs> What's up, dudes? What you doing? Hello. My new packing pole. Oh, yeah. I'm going to destroy it. It might turn you into a through hiker, you never know. False. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> The rest of my time in New Zealand was really just spent resting and eating and waiting for my flight. Dead man on a flight. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent content. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate the suggestion. Oh, is it time for one last vlog? <laughs> hey, what's happening? You probably don't recognize me because I got no big mo, but it's hot. <laughs> Oh, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Traveling with a stranger. <laughs> Off to the airport. To get back to Canada, I had to make a quick pit stop in Christchurch. I'd left some belongings with Camille that I needed to retrieve since I was planning on spending a lot more time in New Zealand. I was actually going to go back to Christchurch at the end and meet up with her, maybe even get a job. But this felt right, so I was happy to be headed back to Canada, back to my friends, and back to my family. I've done my last little grocery shop of New Zealand. Heading back to the hospital. Hospital? The hostel? To cook it up. And uh, yeah, I fly out tomorrow. Yeah, I slept in. And then just like hung out in my room and now there's no one left in the hostel or like in this pod um, which is great so it is my final 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 day in new zealand and i'm gonna catch my flight tonight it's like i'm like walking distance from the airport which is great so i'm just gonna hang out for the few more hours and take a shower and wash my hair because it's crazy looking and then i'm gonna head back to canada Where? all right i got all of my stuff Way too many bags I've accumulated stuff somehow. <laughs> but I am walking to the airport now. I think I'm excited to get back to Vancouver. I think it's gonna be good. I already have a list of like potential plans that might make that might keep me a little closer to home. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I've also got a little bit of work lined up, which would be nice. Uh yeah, we'll see how it goes, but before that, I gotta go get on a plane. I gotta walk to the airport with all this crap. transported back to summer. It's great. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited to get home actually. It's my completely empty apartment, but <laughs> it's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> 